Hey there YouTube, this is JV111 here, and welcome to another episode of Modern Minecraft Mondays. Today, we're looking at the legendary beast mod made by Davidi of the Minecraft forums. So let's just jump right on into it. So what this mod does is it adds an additional five special beasts, including the structures that these beasts will spawn in, and they will actually spawn as long as the, the player gets close to the, spawn, the, um, the structure themselves. Uh, the other thing is, well, I'll show you exactly what these things do. Uh, they have some neat neat things. So we're just going to get right in, on into it. The first spawn is called the Elf Hunter. Now when you spawn it, he's big. And he also has a health bar. Now these are all supposed to draw special items. So let's see what this guy drops. If I can... Can I not hit him? Where's his... Oh, right, the Elf Hunter. He can only be damaged by arrows. Okay. This I did not know. I thought I could just, you know, smack the crap out of him. So let's get ourselves a bow. And a heck of a lot of arrows. Uh, let me fix my roof breaking my roof for no reason. Alright. So he takes quite a bit of hit. And see, he even sometimes fires flaming arrows. Let's see if we can kill him completely. And he drops a lot of it. And he fires a lot of arrows at players. And see, now I'm on fire. going to take a long time to kill him. Let's see if I can do this. Slash enchant bow punch three. Nope, can't do that. Okay. He's gonna he's gonna fall out of the thing. Push him away from over here. Let's just keep damaging him. Luckily, he doesn't regain any of his health. That makes things a heck of a lot easier. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So we got something from him. What did he drop? He dropped a punch six. A power six punch one bow. That's ridiculous. Takes a long time. He also dropped sacred eyes. Now, these sacred eyes are cool. Let's see if we can... Oh. And he even dropped his poison blow gun. Now, these are really neat. These can fire a poisoned arrow using whatever arrows you have on you. Let's get out of creative mode. Oh, this doesn't even use your arrows. <laughs> They're just poisoned. That's cool. Alright. So yeah, so that's a poison, poison blowgun. We'll keep all our sacred eyes together because I want to keep at these ones. So the next one we're going to look at is the Ender Lord. He has the teleporting ability and he switches places with you if he takes indirect enemy damage. So if he takes an arrow and then you take the damage instead. And he likes to teleport behind the player. Um, a pro tip is do not let him hit lava and he drops the Ender Staff. So oh, there's the Ender Staff. That he does not look what does he look like? Need my glowstone. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, he just looks like a badass Enderman. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He 
Yeah, the guy definitely likes to teleport around. Oh, there you are. Hello, Mr. Enderman. I like his cape. I want his cape. Furiously clicking away. Trying to beat this thing. Imagine it wasn't on creative mode. You'd have to have like super strong armor to beat these things. There we go. So he dropped his ender staff. Now let's see what this does. Uh, it's a long distance portal. Or a long distance teleporter. That's cool. Keep damaging my roof. I have to raise this roof up a little bit. I'll do that later. So I'm just going to keep all these sacred eyes together. So that... Uh, must have killed that the egg. So that was the Ender Lord. So now let's summon the Fire Demon. Oh, I'm on fire. So if you stay close to him, you go on fire. Interesting. Anything else that the thing says? And he said, touch it will also take damage equal to that of lava. Arrows don't do so well against him. And drops a fire staff. So let's just... He's a little easier to kill. Oh, he summons blazes. He summons blazes. That's not cool, bro. That's not cool. And die. All right, I got to fix my home. And he dropped the fire staff. So let's just drop. So these are all the items you can get, but I just want to drop them into here so we can see what this fire staff does. I need that bow. Oh, shit! <laughs> well, it creates a gas ball. Oh, oh that, that, that's on fire. That's on fire. That's on fire. I don't have fire spread off. Let's just turn off the fire. Turn off the fire. It's okay. It's okay. Shh, shh, shh. Sh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing's here. Nothing's here. It's all good. Well, that is fairly neat. I kind of like that. Drop launched a gas ball okay so that's the fire lord now we're going to go into the lightning spirit he spawns in his temple it's a blue cloud found in the sky he spawns lightning every so often and he spawns powered creepers every so often around him he can only be damaged by explosives and punching and when in water water block or rain he will spawn creepers and lightning twice as often. Uh, can't knock him back, and he drops the lightning staff. Well, I know for a fact that I don't want anything exploding in here. So. Alright, so let's spawn him. Oh, that's right, I have to punch him. Oh, sweet, googly moogly. I can see it's taking forever to kill him. Unless you have. Where are they? Potion of strength two. So you need a potion in order to beat this thing. 
or keep a beacon with you at all times that has the, po that has the potion effect. Oh, why is this health bar all suddenly leave? That's interesting. Did he drop his item? No, he did not. Ooh. Get rid of all these supercharged creepers. That works. Hence why we have the lot the water here. And we are that. So his item is actually called where did I put the lightning staff? What does it do? Alright, let's go to the outside world. Is it raining? Oh shit! It, it spawns lightning! <laughs> it's like a 50-50 shot of spawning lightning. Well, that's cool. They drop a lot of EXP. I just noticed. I'm at 80 already. Oh, it's not a 50-50 shot. It's so long as you're right-clicking a block, it'll drop lightning. Alright. Well, I don't like the rain, so let's just block that stuff up. And let's see if I can get rid of all this water. Uh, do, 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 what, uh, what one would be a good thing? Oh, yeah. Where is that? Sponge. No, sponge don't work. So we'll just... Oh, well, maybe I can just use anything because I'm still in creative. I gotta just go with glowstone. Go with the glowstone I have on hand. And turn creative mode off. We'll let that strength wear off. Another 50 seconds before it's done. Oh, and the glowstone. Infinite glowstone, that works. I got those potion effects going. 13 seconds. Three seconds. And we no longer have it. Alright, so let's go back to our creative mode. Let's stop this monkeying around. Let's just get this done now. So we can go on to the final boss in this pack, which is called the Snow Demon. We can figure out how we have to kill him. Let's read it now. So the Snow Demon, he spawns in his temple. He throws some ice-cold snowballs at you, which will slow you down. Runs after you and attempts to maul you. Breaks blocks around him when very angry. Does not like fire or lava. Makes him angry. And he drops the ice staff. So we're just gonna finish this up. And then... Bear with me, this will take a couple seconds.
Give me a little path for him to to fight in. First, see how much health he has. How long it would take to kill him? That is, if you're like pretty much invulnerable to the man or the beast. I'll be, I'll be good for now. All right. So for this one, we're gonna use our our bow. All right. Coming up, Mister Snowy. Oh, big some bitch. And he has no health bar, from what I can decipher. Oh shit! He hurts. He hurts. And he destroyed half my house. You a hole. Take a little bit of that. Arrows don't work. He's destroying my house. Oh, the ass arse hole. Come on. Now where that potion? Much better. It's still taking a while. I still have to push pretty much just furiously click away until all of his health is gone. Almost there, and there we go. And he dropped his. See, he dropped a staff. Why couldn't the other ones drop a staff? So um, let's put our the eyes back. Let's set dawn time dawn. Let's heal. Let's turn off the rain. Turn rain off. Let's put them back. Gotta fix my house. He's broken my house. My really shitty glowstone house. That's no better than that. No better than a, dirt, a mud hut. All right, so let's see. That's right here. What this ice staff does? Oh, you can throw a snowball too. Interesting. Very interesting. Let's see if we can find a mob. Ah, here we go. Some. Oh, sorry about that. Some unsuspecting slimes. Oh, they're slow for a little bit. Just spam this. <laughs> Reading death via snowball from the sky. Oh, you can create snow. <laughs> oh, that's neat. It probably doesn't have a lot of uses, though, because I'm creative. I wonder. 
have a pool of lava here. Nope, does not do anything to lava. But how about water? Turns the water into ice. That's cool. And how about you poor unsuspecting sheep populace? Yeah, normally when you hit them, they're a lot faster. So I guess that slowness effect really does work. Huh. Alright, so now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to test out those those eyes. Ooh, I'm a lagging. I'm a lagging hard. So let's grab some of these eyes. I'm just going to throw them. Oh. Now, these should act like ender eyes in which they'll point to where the temple is. I already see one. So this must be the elf. You hear the shrieking of a beast. Yes, yeah, it's the elf spawner. Oh, how cool. What's under here at all? Like some kind of loot? I see no loot. Okay, so that's would be something that the map maker could probably add in. You know, if you find one of these areas. Although it looks really cool. I like the way it looks. You know, the jungle logs here and the jungle leaf on top, kind of like a pyramid kind of setup. I wonder if I can. I stay still as if there's nowhere to go. So I might have to move away a little bit. A lot farther away. Ooh. Lagging. And we probably crashed. Anyways, so that's something that the map maker could probably. Oh no, never mind. We did not. Oh, I guess when you've activated one of the things, you can't use these. All right, so that's good to know. So, anyways, like I said, that's one of the things the map maker could probably add in there. Uh, if you find one of the temples, that there be loot. Um, maybe something in the form of enchanted gear or. Um, maybe add some weapons to the mod, like just not just legendary mobs, but legendary weapons as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, it's a great mob, uh, great mob, great mod, um, great idea. Uh, and I can't wait to see what he adds into it. I hope he adds many other uh, bosses because. Minecraft only really having two bosses, you know, yeah, the weather is pain in the butt, uh, and it's difficult to beat, but, you know, it's not the same. Y you need more, and this mod fulfills the need for more. Uh, so thank you for watching, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, please like and uh, favorite all my videos, and make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay frosty!